please say your name. John. Okay, and where are you from, John? I'm from Houston, Texas. Okay, and what college did you go to? I went to Texas A&M University at Corpus Christi. Okay, and oh, you also have a teaching credential, is that correct? That is correct. From the same university? Yes. Oh, cool. And how long have you been in Korea? Been in Korea for seven and a half months. Okay, and why did you come to Korea? I came to Korea because there's a lot of opportunities open for teachers over here. The teacher shortage in America, well, there was no teacher shortage, but over there it was very difficult for me to get a teaching job with my certification, and uh, I had a professor tell me about what was going on in Korea, so I looked into it and uh, found some very interesting opportunities. Okay, cool. And what are some of the good things you've had with your Korean experience so far? Well, I mean, it's a huge culture change, and that's always a good thing. You get to meet new and in new and interesting people, people who are just like you at your workplace, uh, where you go and hang out and meet new friends. That's one of the big positive things is that you meet a lot of people who are just like you, have a lot in common with you, and uh, you can forge friendships really fast here. Okay. Uh, what are some difficulties you've had here in Korea? Well, pretty much the same as uh, what I like about Korea. The difficulty is the culture shock, the language exchange. Uh, not having the kind of food that you're used to. I mean, I was raised on macaroni and cheese and hamburger helper back home, and you can't find any here unless you go to uh, Itaewon. But, uh, yes. uh, but that's that's a big thing is that you know there's a lot of food that you can't get here, but there's all but, but there's all the famous fast food chains and they're fine here. But uh, just the biggest thing is that the language exchange. You do get stared at a lot, but especially me because I mean I got the blonde hair and you know <laughs> I mean it's it's a uh, very odd for you know people to see that around here so that's that's a difficulty and also you know, some of the culture can be a bit uh, you, know. you, you want you want to elaborate on difficult culture uh, well like in the workplace okay yeah ex expand on it people won't notice that well you know they um, kind of expect you to be perfectionist that's uh, mm -hmm. that's big here you know they I mean you have to do everything correctly and uh, you know, cross every T, dot every I, but I'm sure that you're going to get a lot of that in the paperwork coming here. But uh, it's um, but it is a good thing. But it it, it makes you much more diligent, it makes you a harder worker. But also, I think that the um, the fun times and the good times outweigh the stressful times that you'll have here. Okay, is there anything that you miss from back home? You already mentioned some food items. Any, anything else you miss? Real golf. <laughs> oh yeah, you know about golf. Yeah, I was a professional back home, but uh, it's um, super expensive here, from what I hear. So they have screen golf, which is you know a fine. Yeah, it's like we golf you know. in yeah, super much, super know, mode. Pretty much, it's like it's like golf for vegetarians. <laughs> okay. But um, I miss that. I miss uh, well, you know, I miss my family, my friends back home. Um, but I still keep in touch with them. Facebook's a lifesaver. Uh, but other than that, you know, I um, that's that's about it. I mean, I mean, I, I don't miss everything. I haven't really been gone that long. I mean, I'm sure that'll hit me sometime sooner, but uh, or, or sometime later. But it's uh, it's still fun here. I, don't, I still have a lot longer to be here and experience new things. Okay, great. Uh, and what advice do you have for people considering coming to Korea? Well, be prepared to work because, I mean, people might say that it's like all fun and games, but, I mean, this is a job, and you are coming here to work a, a job. And like any jobs, they, uh, they require work, they require diligence, they require patience. And um, other than that, be prepared to be dropped into a world completely not your own. Uh, especially with the language, the culture, the people, uh, but also be prepared to have good times, uh, meet people just like you. Uh, Koreans are always curious uh, about foreigners and they'll try to become friends with you, which is a good thing, So, um, because there are plenty of people here who are itching to learn English, so that's something that will be good for you. And uh, well, let's... Um, Preparations, uh, you know, be sure to uh, be sure to 
bring only the stuff that you need. And uh, if you're like anywhere from the American South, like I am, I'm from Texas. Uh, bring some warm clothes. Yes. Because it it, it gets it gets pretty cold here. Man, I mean, it's Siberian winter. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like you know the end of summer right now, but it's actually starting to get kind of cool outside during like the night. So uh, and yeah, be, yeah, bring bring warm clothes. And during the summer, be prepared to sweat a lot because of the humidity. It's not necessarily hot, 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 but it's humid, like you won't even imagine. Okay. Um, and uh, anything else you want to share with potential people coming to Korea? Any fun stories, anything like that you've had over here? Well, I've had plenty of fun stories, but if I want to share anything with uh, you coming to Korea, it is just to keep an open mind, keep an open heart. Uh, be prepared to try new things and uh, be prepared to, uh, you know, be excited at times. There's going to be disappointments here and there, just like it is back home. But it's just you have to prepare yourself for what's going to happen, good or bad. Uh, and I've had a few good stories here. You know, I've had a you know, a few nights here where, you know, I mean, there is no... There is no last call for alcohol here, <laughs> and uh, you can stay out drinking until you know 8 a.m. if you want to. Uh, but yeah, you, you do need to learn how to control yourself because alcohol is you know a little cheaper here, and so are cigarettes. Don't I'm not I'm not per, I'm not. Uh, I think this country has the that. cheapest cigarettes in the industrialized world. I would imagine, but yeah. I'm not I'm not promoting bad behavior. I know everybody in there are all angels. Uh, but uh, just uh, want to tell you what is available here. There are um, many, many things that you will find here that would not have also been available in America. So keep an open mind. It, it's very different here in good ways and bad ways. Okay, well, thank you for your advice, John. And uh, if you're interested in coming to South Korea, please send your resume to instructasia at gmail.com. We can help you out. So, anyway, peace out.